What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are working on a different project other than sanding the car, which I've been doing literally every single night. We are working on getting demon eyes installed into my fog lights. I think I said this in the last video that I wanted to work on this. I actually have one side ripped apart right now, cut the hole for the demon eye. If you don't know what demon eyes are, they are RGB LEDs. They're about the size of one of your fingers. They're very small. Um, what they do is they sit on top of the projector and kind of illuminate the glass on the, actually the projector lens, which is this tiny piece right here. Like I said, we're working on demon eyes today. If you guys watch the videos of us putting together my headlights, you guys will kind of be familiar of how this goes with the cutting and trimming and then getting everything installed. I am no expert at doing this. This is why I have all the guys at work help me with doing stuff like this so that once we get them back on the car, not only are the headlights going to be multicolor and do all fun, cool stuff, uh, the fog lights that I've literally never used before also will have some sort of a function now. I'm not going to put bulbs in them because I really don't care to use fog lights like that. The demon would be a cool touch to kind of have the colors on top of the car as well as kind of towards the bottom of the ground so let's get these installed and I'll kind of show you guys how I'm gonna do it first things first this is what the fog light looks before uh, these fog lights are the same for I believe they're also the same on the legacy as well as this is gonna be your 04 to 07 I believe fog light so they're all gonna be Pretty much the same as this. This is what it started off as, and that's the actual projector bowl inside of it. So I'm gonna show you guys how to take these apart, um, and then we'll dig into the rest of it. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're actually gonna cut these open. You cannot bake these open. I mean, you can, but it's gonna come out really bad. So we actually have a ultrasonic cutter here. Not everyone's gonna have, you can kind of use a Dremel if you want, but they're probably not gonna sit right once you go back to reseal them. So I just took advantage of having a nice cutter here. Uh, so I actually cut them in half and then we're going to reseal them um, with I believe silicone or some special other stuff that we might have laying around here. You actually have to cut these open, um, so don't be alarmed there, but pretty much everything is taken apart. I actually just got the demon eye attached to this one. I'm letting it dry with a little bit of JB Weld. Uh, while that's drying, I'm gonna show you guys what I did to cut these open um, and kind of how that goes through because it does, it kind of sounds scary to cut them open, but it's really not that bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the cutter going and we'll get, uh, well, cutting. So this is the ultrasonic cutter very tiny blade. There's actually a pedal that you use on the floor down over here to uh, start it. I'm pretty sure these things are pretty expensive, but luckily working here, we have tools like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut along the line back down here, which are basically just staying as close to the front of the lens as possible. Um, and then that'll be our reseal point as well. So I just went through and cut my line. So now I'm going back with flathead and kind of prying the backside open. It will kind of like try and reseal itself because with the melting of the plastic, it's gonna to wanna to like rebond. So you're gonna to have to kind of go back and break off the little bits that are trying to pull itself back together. I did a little bit of a different line this time than I did on the other side just to see which one works better. The only thing about this one now is that uh, my lines are more straight rather than following closer to the lens like I was saying. So it might actually make it easier to get a good bead when we go back to reseal rather than um, rather than like having a line that kind of goes all over the place. You may have to go back and cut a little more of it um, if there is pieces that you probably missed because of the depth of it you can't really see inside of there so I'm just gonna go back a little bit and make sure I got everything and there we go and ooh there's a uh, a bee in there there's a bee I'm gonna go ahead and get some compressed air and start cleaning this out oh and there's a spider man there's there's people living in here sorry so now that I have it open I'm gonna get the projector itself out and then all this corrosion they can kind of see on top and a little bit on the bottom. I'm actually gonna go ahead and clean that up. Uh, basically, I'm taking the whole inside of this and cleaning it out uh, before I put any of the new pieces in. Uh, the other side was actually way worse than this one because the 
back cap was actually cracked when I first bought the car, so it was leaking in dirt, debris, and water from the back side. So you can kind of see on the back of this one even it's a little bad. So take this out and then clean her out. All right, next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off the lens. There's just two bolts right here and right here on either side. Once again, the other side was literally rusty, so I couldn't even take these out. I actually had to cut the bracket. So I'm gonna have to figure out a different way to install the other side, but I thought I'd show you guys this one because in most cases, a lot of you guys don't live where there's salt that ruins everything. Yeah, this bracket looks way better than the other side. Let me see if I can show you guys that one. Here is the new one. Well, here's the nice one. Here's the beat up one that I had to cut this tab right here. It was all rusted inside, so I even this is this is way better than what it even looked like before. So, shaved this down. Took much longer to get off than this one, which um, you guys should have hopefully cleaner cars than mine. Welcome back. Uh, so today we're going to drill the hole for the line that's going to be coming out of the Demon Eye. So we let the things dry overnight with the JB Weld. Well actually it's been like a week since we picked up the camera. So we're going to go ahead and drill the hole for the grommet and then we can show you us passing the line through. Well that looks like a hole. I'm gonna try and like feed it like up in the top right so it goes like over that uh, it's not an adjuster but there's like a mount right there this is reverse thread and I didn't know it so I kept turning it and it would kept pulling it like back to the side so one big part that you don't want to forget to do is to repin these connectors after we've just taken off this white connector because otherwise you'll plug these in and these pins will just fall right out so either your RGB functions will not turn on at all or you'll have like mixed colors that you don't want to see so just kind of like grab a razor and pry the back end of these tabs back up so that once we put them back into the white plug um, we're not they can lock back in it's a little difficult but another thing that we were just going through is making sure that we're plugging them into the right port for us I was looking at another example it's black red blue and green so then we're gonna slide them back in we should be good to go oh there we go now we should kind of hear a click maybe not but Oh, we can kind of hear them, they're very tiny. And then we can kind of pull on it to see if it worked, and it did, so we're good to go with this one. Welcome to How To Demonize. Yeah. <laughs> so what we're doing is we are plastic welding back the rear cap to the front, uh, like I said. We're just using a soldering iron. Um, I saw that there was like some special gun thing out there that you can use for this. Not sure if that works the same as this. Somebody can leave in the comments below if you're familiar with it. But right now we're kind of just like quickly going along the edges what we're doing is essentially is melting the plastic back together and that's what i was saying with if you have the ultrasonic cutter like we have here then you're really in luck because your gap is very small so if you're going to be using like a dremel or something and your bit is a little bit wider than this gap then that's where you might have a little bit more of like a tougher time trying to seal it you can still do it it's just going to take more work than doing this um, and this is the method that the guys use at work for especially doing like tail lights and stuff because we have to cut open all the tail lights. Headlights are different um, just because they have a rubber sealant, which actually you can talk about because you were very familiar with that. Oh, so like, yeah. So the headlights are put together with like a butyl or a glue from factory. And so when we take them apart, we pop them in the oven and warm up to heat up that glue so we can take it apart. Where with the tail lights, they're not held together with a glue. I think, what are they actually like? They're just like they actually permanently like, sealed. They're sealed together from it's like, like, all like when you get them. like one piece of yeah. plastic or something. So they must already be molded, but yeah, look at you. We're, right, we're going back. Um, didn't even similar, notice. similar, Adidas. So since we get the tail lights in and they're already a sealed unit, we have to cut them with the ultrasonic cutter. And that's why you have to go to the process that Jordan's doing now versus the headlights that are come with the glue already in them. So. It's, I guess, slightly more of a pain because you have to cut something open versus just popping it in the oven and heating it up for a little while. But it's not too bad. Obviously, like, this 
could be a lot messier. I mean, that's like pretty good. Like this is pretty. Back here, gonna you're not do, gonna even notice this. You know? Plus, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back with some silicone, um, and we're gonna tape off the edges. So, if we have, I don't know if we have any tail lights around here right now, but what Jeff does when he reseals the tails, like the line that is the line of silicone is very thin, and it almost looks like not it's not bad at all. So it doesn't look like crap. Other people might, you know, make it look like crap if they're not, I guess, knowledgeable on stuff like that. But the way that he does it, and like he showed me how to do it, it's really not, it's not too bad. So we haven't even gone over it with silicone, but this, yeah, this it's side like looks really pretty good. nice and kind of, yeah, plastic I'm welded like, back together. I'm like figuring out the kind of like the speed that I'm going across them at. And like, what works, stuff. Once you nail it down, it. like, yeah, it's not that bad. Is this already set at a temperature? Do we know? This is, it's not running no, off of that. Say. This is a different one. Or 662 degrees. Nah. All right, guys, so I got the second side sealed up. We're going to let that dry overnight. I hope you guys saw that the installation of the demon eyes really is not that bad. It's just a little bit time consuming. Um, it's even for time's sake, it's not even that bad. I probably put two hours altogether into this. Um, obviously you have to let things dry overnight. So you got to kind of consider that you need maybe a day or two to do all of the uh, letting up the drying. Glad to see these things are finally back together. I really wanted the demon eyes in the fog lights to match the headlights. So I have both sets that are multicolor instead of just the headlights. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any other questions, definitely shoot them in the comments below i can get back to you as soon as possible um, and then we can help you guys get some demon eyes in your fog lights peace out we'll see you guys in the next one i think next time we have some more engine work to do on the new block so we'll see you in the next one peace bye